Some 21 police personnel are to be interdicted and subjected to a formal criminal investigation upon the recommendation of the government for the alleged killing of seven Zongo youth at Manso Kwanta in the Ashanti region. Now this comes after the seven-member committee which proved the killing stated that it found no evidence that the deceased persons were armed robbers. The committee also said there's no evidence that the deceased persons exchanged fire with the police before they were killed. Sitting with his half is Tijani has the details. Actions about the reports from the committee which investigated the killing of the seven young men in the Aswasi constituency are not only coming from members of the bereaved families, but that is a talk here in the Aswasi constituency. Let me engage these residents on their views on the content of the report. You are welcome to CTTV. Thank you very much. Mm. First of all, mm. my name is Tani Musulemana, a resident of Aswasi constituency, and also some of the bereaved are very good friends of mine. First of all, we give thanks to the government for setting up the committee and ensuring that the committee has presented its report. What the constituent or what the people of Aswasi are requesting is that the recommendation of the committee should be implemented to the latter. We ensure that the police officers are brought to book. Justice must be served. It is rather unfortunate that people have been killed in such a manner. And to add sore to injury, they've been labeled as armed robbers. And also, what I'm asking, the question I want to know is, what is the current state of the Ashanti Regional Police Commander? Because it is the commander who conducted uh, a press conference telling the whole world that those people are armed robbers and he paraded all kinds of weapons before them. Now that a com committee has been set, the committee is made up of eminent people and they come out, they've come out with their reports exonerating our brothers, telling the whole world that they are not an armed robbers. I expect by now, if Ghana is a serious nation, that police, the regional commander, should have stepped aside by now. So we are calling upon the authorities, the government, the attorney general, the Zongo community, uh, to ensure that the, the recommendation of the committee is implemented to the latter. Let's come back to Accra because lives of residents and pedestrians who ply the Awoshi to Pokwesi Road are at risk as a result of faulty and non-functioning traffic and street lights. According to the residents, the 15-kilometer stretch has not had working street and traffic lights since the road was completed four years ago. They lament the increasing number of vehicular accidents recorded on the route frequently due to the darkness on the road. City News is Philip Nilate drove on the road and has filed this report. The 15 kilometer Awoshi Pokwasi Road has over 100 street lights mounted to aid in visibility. Today, they are white elephants. Darkness engulfs the road at night, threatening the lives of individuals who ply this route on a daily basis. The good nature of this road has become motivation for drivers to drive at tough speed despite the poor visibility at night. Road signs cannot be seen from afar, likewise road markings. A number of traffic lights on the stretch do not function. Pedestrians and residents who stay along the road fear for their lives when crossing, though they observe safety precautions. To some other stories and pupils of Abolato uh, Primary School in the Borga East District of the Upper East Region sit on cement blocks and sometimes even on the bare floor to study. Now, this situation is affecting academic work in one of the most deprived areas in the country. There's more in this report. This unit classroom was constructed in 2014, but due to government's inability to pay the contractor, the structure has remained uncompleted. The structure, which is only roofed, has neither windows nor chalkboards, and the dusty floors expose people to various degrees of health hazards. Wood slabs are placed on cement blocks to act as benches, and the pupils are forced to either use the innovative benches or sit on the dusty 
nasty death law for lessons. Some people share their sad ordeal with City News. They sit on blocks. When they sit on blocks, we will not be able to write. And the blocks, it always turn our uniform. And it always dirty our uniforms. We can change four times a day, but still, it can't last. And we want the government to come and floor the classrooms for us. Now, members of the University Teachers Association of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology are asking students to put aside recent happenings at the university and focus on the academic activities. UTAC says it is happy to welcome students back to the university and will ensure the cordial relationship between lecturers and students is not tampered with. There is more in this report. He has returned to the KNUST campus as students are going about their usual academic activities. Bus stops within campus were filled with students waiting for buses to convey them to their lecture halls. Lecturers were also busy with their duties at the various lecture halls. Some of the students spoke to City News. Something very new to us, but then we are, we are looking so that we can, you know, see how we do about it because we're writing exam next semester we have to make sure that before the semester ends we have like covered everything so that when we come back we'll be able to write yeah, that, but then it should be good it should be good we'll cope we'll be able to cope with it we coming back has been like we've started all over and we are looking up to the, the lectures that right now anything can happen we can write uh, the may same at any any point in time so at the moment, we are preparing for everything, like anything that will come. I'm happy, you know, the court is back. And I think this is the right time um, for calling us. And I would say I'm well prepared for anything, yeah, in terms of academics and everything. And um, also, I'm, I'm prepared for any exams, medicine, men of term exams, and in fact, anything. Today has been the first time we've um, officially had lectures since and we had the demonstration on 22nd October. Um, our lectures came to class. Before that, they had an interaction with us as to um, how the, it all began. But moving on from there, they encouraged us to um, prepare for the rest of the semester and as to how we are going to cope with the lessons that we've, we've missed within that three-week period.